Hey, what's up? It's your girl V. This is my route to fame. Yo, what's going on? It's RTF Dre. This route to fame. I got a special guest in the building. We got that girl V. What's up? I mean, she's usually behind the cameras, but we got an interview today. today. Yo. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, let's, uh, this route to fame. So, you know, we pretty much just talk about your whole route to where you're at. Yeah. Your route's not finished, but I mean, we could talk about what you got going on so far. Uh, let's, let's, let's start it from the top. How did you get into the whole camera work thing? Um, well, not a lot of people know I'm a veteran. Okay. So I was, I joined the military when I was 17 and I was in Iraq by the time I was 19. And they sent you to Iraq. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, shit. What was that like? Um, Wait, what was it like when you found out you were going? You know, what's crazy is like they tell you, like, you sign up, sign up. Like, you know, yeah. you're going to get this crazy sign on bonus. They don't tell you, like, with that sign on bonus, you're going straight overseas. Wow. So, although I got like a $20,000 sign on bonus to join the military, I was went straight to war. Wow. So, at 18, I was. Carrying an M4, full time, everywhere, to the bathroom, to the shower. What was your job, though, there? Like, was it? Um, when I joined, we were, I was um, a cook. But when you go overseas, it's infantry, straight, convoy security. There was no cooking. We had um, cooks that were actually there. Uh, it was just convoy security. We used to mm -hmm. transport uh, different supplies from fob to fob with the military vehicle. All right. Know. What was it like being a female, like, in the military? Um, you could have your advantages because I'm, you know, being young and pretty, sometimes you can get your way. But, um, you know, being in the military with a bunch of men, um, that was also hard, too. So mm -hmm. it was like, it was either... They either liked you or they hated you. All right. Yeah. Do you feel like that experience helped you out getting into the music industry? Um, I feel like that experience built a lot of character in me. Mm -hmm. So that taught a lot of discipline, um, a lot of respect, because I, I was young and hot-headed, and, you know, I would just pop off, and that taught me to shut my mouth mm -hmm. and listen to the people that are leading you. All right. So it definitely taught a lot about my character. What's crazy is I went to Iraq with a top-notch camera. I mm. had, my mom bought me the best camera out there. Like, it was probably one of the best ones that were being sold at the time. And um, I didn't realize what I had in my hand. I took pictures, and actually, I think um, I just found the computer recently mm. that has all the videos and pictures from Iraq. But... Um, I really feel like I wish I would have took more advantage right. in Iraq because, like, I was 18 in a whole other country. I was flying over um, palaces in a Blackhawk right, with right. my camera. So I just feel like um, God kind of gives you your purpose early, but you don't really figure it out at the time. And so mm -hmm. I didn't really figure out that that's what I wanted to do then. Right. But um, it was still a part, you know. Right. What she get you a camera for? Like you wanted one or was it just to like take it's pictures crazy. of what you were saying? Man, I always loved taking pictures. And so she just bought me one, but I never paid attention to that camera and nothing until um, my son was probably, I had my son when I was 21, 22. My parents gave me a camera for Mother's Day mm -hmm. and I never put the camera back down. It was all over after uh. that. So were you, did you have a kid while in the military, or was he back home? Um, I had a, I had my son when I came back home. Okay, from Iraq. gotcha. I met his dad in the military, but gotcha. um, I had him when I came home, so I was 20. Okay. So how did you get into, like, the music side with the camera? Like, did you start off doing, like, events, like weddings and stuff? Yeah, or? so what's crazy is I started off um, shooting at Vibes, Texas. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's, like, a underground kind of, like, um, they showcase a lot of art and underground artists. And so I started off there. Shout out to Romy. Um, just taking pictures, man. I met mm -hmm. 23 Cups. I don't know if you know who that is, but shout out to 23 Cups. He shot me. He showed me how to shoot music videos. Okay. We would just, like, be out in my backyard. And he's like, V, I want to do this, this, this. He's like, you're going to learn. I was like, okay, cool. Let's do it. 
And so um, we learned how to do music videos that way. And um, I kind of did that for a long time, just kind of just popping out anywhere. Anywhere there was um, a concert, I was there. If there was an art show, I was there. If an artist was in town, I was there. Mm -hmm. If there was anything going on, I was there. Like, I was just there with my camera, just taking pictures. Nobody, I really would show up to these places, and I wouldn't even talk to anybody. I would go, I would take pictures, I would go home, I would post them, and I would let my work show for itself. Like, you would just tag them? You didn't mm -hmm. even let them know you were taking pictures? Sometimes. It really depends. Okay. I'm really, I'm really, like, shy. I'm really an introvert. Like, mm. I... I loved what I do, and so I felt like my work was going to show for itself. And so that's just kind of what I did. Right. Now, that's dope. So how did the whole Say Cheese thing happen? Um, I was um, I was shooting for a while. I had been doing a lot of creative shoots, and I started – one of my friends told me about Say Cheese, and they're like, hey, you know, I went to school with Sean. He has a dope – um, media outlet you should t look into him so I started watching say cheese I started reaching out to Sean I was like hey let me shoot with your artist like try me out and I you can ask him I used to annoy him I was <laughs> in yeah. his dms I'm talking about let me shoot let me shoot let me shoot he would never answer me back and then one day he's like what you shooting with and I told him and at this time my mom had just gave me like a $300 camera Mm -hmm. And I was still cold with the camera. Right. So I told him what my goal camera was. And the next thing, next picture he sent was the camera in his hand. And he was like, pull up, let's talk. And so I pulled up with me and my brother. And um, I he just kind of interviewed me. And he's like, hey, you know, this is what I want my interviews to look like. Can you do it? And at the time, I never did anything with audio, didn't know how a recorder worked. Right. I didn't do any videos, nothing. And he was like, I was like, I don't know how to do it, but I'm going to figure it out. And he trusted me enough to let me come up with the setup that we use today now on all the interviews. So it's been, we've been locked in for four years now. Oh, uh, for sure. So what was your, like, first big interview with Say Cheese? The first thing I ever did with Say Cheese was um, follow Mo3 around. Okay. Um, as he paid rent for three families in the DFW. Okay, okay, I remember that with rainwater and stuff. Yeah, I never edited a video. I never nothing, and that was my first say cheese. Um, was it like was it nerve wracking working for like a big? I guess you could say blog company like say cheese. Like, did you ever like at times fuck up? Um, I definitely fucked up yeah. a couple times. Yeah, for sure. I feel like I was never really nervous because I'm I'm very much God led. Mm -hmm. Like I'm I'm very much into my faith and I pray over everything and I prayed on this situation. I prayed for Sean. I prayed for Say Cheese. I prayed for everything, and um, so I it, it was never that I was nervous. But I have definitely we're human, so we have definitely fucked up before. And yeah. Sean has got to get on my ass more mm -hmm. than a couple times. Right. But after that, he knows like I'm. Zip it up. Like, I, whatever you said, I'm doing it. Mm. So, yeah, he has had to get on me a couple times. No, nah, for sure. What uh, what interview made you feel like you were finally, like, in your bag? Like, you had this packed down? Like the Like the, setup? Like the whole like, setup, the um, interviews? I think when I finally had, because um, we have cameramen all over the United States. Mm. And so I have trained all of those cameramen on the phone. So when I have successfully trained all of them on the phone over what I learned, like, on YouTube, I knew, like... So they have to follow your, like, rubric? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Usually for the first time, they'll call me, and I'll have to walk them through everything, how to set up their recorder, the angle, and um, Sean will, you know, have them FaceTime me just so I can make sure everything is, like, good. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, um... When I feel like we really perfected that and, like, the audio, when they send it over to me, I'm like, it's, it's beautiful. Like, I love it. Like, mm -hmm. I came up with that, and I'm able to teach it to the other people so, right. like, clear that the work, like, it shows for itself. So it's pretty dope. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite interview that you've done so far? Hmm. My favorite interview... 
I definitely think probably currency. It hasn't even came out yet. Okay. Yeah, I really feel like currency is um is dope. Um I also like Aunt Glizzy. And J Main, wait. Shout out to <laughs> J Main. J Main is my act he's my favorite, for sure. Okay. What makes like what makes those your favorite? Is it just how the interview went? Honestly, it's the relationship that we've built outside of them because um I, like uh, all of the people that I just named, except for Aunt Lizzie, like I have a relationship with Currency outside of the interview. I have a relationship with J-Main outside the interview and they're just so authentic and I really love how the um, subscribers say cheese have taken to J-Main. Like I love it because he's such a cool ass person. Like mm-hmm. people should know him. So um, yeah, J-Main was dope. So most of the time Sean's not even like there. He's like behind a what? Like FaceTime or something? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you're the remote. one really getting, like, the connection with the artists. Them. For yeah. a lot of them, I am. Um, like I said, we have cameramen in Florida, um, Detroit, um, some big places. But if they're places like Vegas, the Bay, kind of stuff like that, yeah, I fly and do them all okay. the time. I love it. Nice. New Orleans. I drive to New Orleans. I Houston, do all those. Gotcha. But I love it. Okay, so from a side say cheese, you also do your own videos and stuff like that. Has that like grown obviously since you've been working with say cheese? Um, yes and no. I feel like yes, it has grown. Like my audience has for sure grown, but um, I don't know. I don't really work with that many people anymore. Mm. So I kind of I'm pretty exclusive to the people that I already know and to right. say cheese. So yes and no, I guess. Gotcha. Okay, so you you work with Say Cheese, and then does the Say Cheese land you to work with Charleston? Uh, yeah, Say Cheese actually, you know, lands me a lot of opportunities. All right. So, I mean, not only Charleston, like I said, I've made a relationship with Currency. Um, pretty much anybody that I meet, I usually interact enough with to create a relationship after. All right. So, how was it working with Charleston? He's the number one, like, I guess you could say, like, character on, like, social media, YouTube, TikTok. So what was that like? Working with Charleston, um, it was crazy. It was definitely an experience. I'm grateful for it. I learned a lot from it. Um, It was crazy. There's a lot of ups and downs. Mm-hmm. Working with Charleston. All right. So what's your side of the story with the whole breakup? Um, the breakup happened. I feel like everything went downhill um, when I went to South by Southwest. And I decided to uh, go to an event with somebody that he wasn't, like, cool with. All right. And um, everything kind of went downhill after that. You think that's like what sparked it? Yeah, for sure. Because I was always, um, I was always a part of the team. Like I did whatever he wanted. Like I took video. I made contracts. I scheduled flights for whoever, uh, whoever those flights were for. Um, I just, I kind of contributed it a lot. So whenever he wanted to part ways with me. I have already been down this road with Charleston before. So right. I've already So that 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 this wasn't the first time. This was not the this first time. This is just the first that time that's on, it's on the internet. No, this is the second time. Okay. The first time is on the internet also. Um it was that was a um another s- story. But um Yeah, I forgot where it was. No, nah, you good. So like Y'all break up, he talks all this stuff on the internet. How does that make you feel? A lot of it, okay, you can tell it's false, but... So, everybody wants to know, like, why I posted the picture Mm -hmm. on Charleston's Instagram. And really what it it all led up to was the things that he said about my son on the internet. And um, it was really petty of me to post a picture. Yes, um, that was not my picture from my... Photos. That was actually a picture from his personal Instagram that I posted. Right. Um, but really, 
everything. I posted that because uh, he talks really bad about my son. The things that he was saying about my son was just disgusting. Mm -hmm. It was like any any parent that would hear the things that was coming out of his mouth, you would have done the same thing that I did. And it was petty. Would I do it again? No. But, I mean, we don't take L's. We just got lessons. Right, right. It just is what it is at this point. No, for sure. So have you ever tried, like, having a sit down, maybe talking to him, anything like that? No. No. You know, him and Sean are really close. And it just, it's not, it's not in the books for us. I honestly thought we were making some progress, but then the interview came out and he said the things that he said and he was still lying. So it was... I guess we weren't cool. All right. Do you get any advice from Sean? Like, with them being so cool, like, do you get any advice from him about the situation? Because I know they had a fallout at one point, too. That was our, yeah, that, yeah. He definitely told me, like, V is for the internet. Just let it be. So that's why I left it alone for so long. I just didn't even want to talk about it. Because, it, like I said, it's for the internet. I was never... My lifestyle was never dependent on Charleston. I've always been working with Say Cheese. I've always been secured with Sean. I never needed another avenue. I I explored it because that was my friend, and he asked me to. Right. But um, I never needed that. So when he fired me, I was cool with it. I was so okay with it. I kept helping out Juanita on the back end. Even though I was fired, I was still drawing up contracts for her. I was still booking flights. Um, I was still doing all that. But when he fired me and then he said what he said about Zay, it's kind of like, dang, I've been backed up even though you fired me. It's cool. And you did those things. It was like loyalty was gone at that point. All right. BET weekend, what's that about? (laughs) Um, basically, uh, he invited me down on business and him and his son was on some weirdo time. And him and his son? Yeah. Him and his son. How old is his son? Um, his son was 19. But, um, yeah, he definitely tried it one night. When you said invited me down, what do you mean though? Like? He invited me to come and do video for the BET weekend. Okay, he wanted gotcha. me to walk the red carpet with him and get video. So I was cool with it, man. We I just shot his mom's wedding. I was so excited. Sean told this me This is the it. beginning of the, the beginning of, of everything. The relationship. Yeah, the beginning of me being a publicist for him. Because I that was never in my cards. Um so he invited me down on business and one night he tried it and I said no. He asked. Or he physically tried it. He like was did drunk, a hard thing. And he was definitely trying to Jeez. Um, yeah, he definitely tried. He knows what he whispered in my ear that night, and so does God. Right. And his you said his son was there or it was just him? His son tried the night before. Gotcha. So both of them tried it. Yeah. And do you feel like that's why he kinda hired you too though? Like wanted to lock you in right then and there? I don't, I don't think that with nobody off the bat because I don't give off that vibe. Mm. If you ever hear my about me, like, it's literally business. So I never thought that. First off, I mean, we got a huge age gap. And I just never thought that because I never, he never tried it. I never tried it. I've always carried myself professionally. Always. Did he apologize or did he just act like it never happened? Oh, he definitely act like it never happened. I would too. Gotcha. So what made you want to keep working with him after that? Um, I just felt like, honestly, I really love the team that we had. I'm mm. not going to lie to you. It was so much fun working with Juanita, with Do. I loved Do. I, I loved Charleston. It was so fun. Like, we literally was laughing the whole time. We were learning together. It was just, I just... Was that the first time you ever tried something like that? Yeah. Yeah, that was the first time. 
Right. Was there any times after that? It was twice. You said it was two times, right? I mean, he did cornball shit with uh, here and there, like trying to rub on my knee while his girlfriend was next to me and stuff, but never anything after that. Like, is that the only time you ever like encountered some shit like that, like in the industry? Yeah. Wow, really? Yeah. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I really. I say this all the time. Like I love the fact that people respect me in this industry because I don't, I don't give that that vibe. I don't take it there. I'm also a lot older than a lot of people, so a lot of people don't know. I'm I'm 33, so I've already had. I've been through them stages. I can control myself. I can carry myself in in a lot of ways that you know some people are still learning how to do. So I, I mean, how did how did you feel when you watched that interview? When did you watch it? I got tagged in all of this stuff yesterday morning. I gotcha. didn't want to watch the interview. I kind of just lay off of it because I'm not one for the internet. I don't do this stuff. Like, right. I don't like to take interviews. I don't do none of that. But um, someone close to me encouraged me to take the interviews and so and tell my side. So that's kind of why. That's why I'm doing it. All right. He also mentioned, like, he did mention that you were, like, sleeping around with different artists and shit like that. He Where said, does that come about? First of all, he said that he never heard me sleeping around with different artists. Gotcha. He said that he always, um, he never heard anything about me, and that's true. Mm. I'm, I don't sleep with anybody in the industry. I haven't, and I, and I really take pride in that. Mm. A lot of women can't say that. And... Um, I love it. Keeps me strong in this industry. It's crazy. So you're doing interviews now. You're only doing <laughs> interviews strictly to tell your side of the story. What makes what makes you not just stay quiet in the background? Boss man said, I think you should take the interviews. That's really the only reason why I was like, you know what? I really feel like I should tell my side. But it's not only that, like, I'm cool. People should should know me. Like, besides this Charleston stuff, like, I've been through a lot, especially mm. as a woman in this industry, being a single mom. I, I raised my son myself. I don't, he doesn't have a, his dad in his life. I, I'm a veteran. I, I learned how to use my camera off YouTube. I learned how to be a people person myself because I was never, uh, I'm, I, like I told you just recently, I, I'm shy. I had to force myself to be this person. So I, I've come a long way. Mm-hmm. It's not just Charleston. Like, Charleston was just a stepping stone to what, like, we got going on. If you could say anything to Charleston right now, what would you say? Mm, I forgive you. That's deep. Because what he said to me really hurt me. And, um... We was really friends, so, and, you know, I can't take back anything I did, but would I do it again? No. It was petty. Petty as fuck. (laughs) But (laughs) I still wanted him to feel how I felt. (laughs) I feel it. (laughs) So how's your relationship with, 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 who is it, Dewberry? His friend, like, are y- are y'all still cool, or is that Man. he's part of the mix up too? <laughs> oh, it's crazy. They didn't ask me that in the last interview, and honestly, I'm most hurt about do. Oh, really? I'm like gonna cry just thinking about it because I was, I really like. Oh my god, it's crazy. I really looked up to him. Like, he was somebody that like. I called, I cared about, I watched all his lives. I was like, oh, dude's on. Like, I hopped on his lives. I just really cared about him. And my feelings were so hurt um, after I heard some of the things that he was saying about us. And I, you know, I haven't spoke with him since. And I don't even know if he knows, but, like, I'm so hurt. Right. Sorry. Okay. We're no, you're good. You found. Oh my god, they didn't ask me about him last time, and I was really hurt about him. 
Yeah. Right. So how's the so Juanita, right? That's the manager, yes. and you were the publicist. Juanita. Juanita. Okay. So what? What is like? What's her take on it? Because I know she's giving you advice about it too. Um. Juanita's known Charleston for fifteen years, so their relationship to our relationship is like incomparable. Right. Right. And um. I think their issues run deep. So I can't really, I can't really talk about how she feels about him. But I know I, I tried to convince her just a couple of weeks ago that we should talk to him. And um, I think she was almost there. And then the Real Life Street Stars interview dropped. All right. What makes you want to have a sit down with him? Is it to work back together or just to, like, have a peace? I don't necessarily want to work for him. It's just we had such a great time together. We were such a great team. We know what we were doing together. We know we were taking. How we doing big levels. things? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying we made him, but I'm saying like I added to. I know the content that I I gave him is viral and on TikTok. Like I still go look at some of his top viewed uh, reels. There's stuff that I've recorded. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that, like, in a cocky way. I'm saying that, like, I knew what I was doing because I knew who we were pushing. So we knew which parts to, oh, we're going to clip that and we're going to post that on, and that shit's going to go crazy. And it did. But um, at the end of the day, he was our friend. Right. And I know the Internet is, like, you know, people want to do, you know, people want to see this. They mm -hmm. want to see the drama. But at the end of the day, that's still my friend. And we still wanted the overall goal. Like, we wanted him to win. I feel it. How is it for you? Like, I don't know how to word this one. So, like, you know, the industry, like you said, they have different characters. Like, Charleston's a certain way on the Internet. Then he's a different person outside of it. Another person is somebody like Rainwater. He portrays himself as a certain person on the interviews, and he's a whole different person outside of it. So how do you maneuver in that? I be me all the time. Right. I don't care if you're in character or not. I'm going to be me. Um, but I also know that about the Internet. Working with Say Cheese, you really see the behind the scenes of how everything works and how these subscribers take to the drama and – the interviews and the stories and it's it's I know what it is so it's not that I like move or maneuver around it I just I work in it mm -hmm. did you ever get like discouraged at some point like disappointed because you like realize what it really was no I feel like I get inspired mm -hmm. I'm like that shit is crazy like Y'all really believe these lies? <laughs> we just got to turn up a little bit and tell you a story and make it believable. Like, right. I, I really get inspired by it because it's, it's actually, it blows my mind how much of followers people are. For sure. Yeah. So what's next for, for you? I know you still would say cheese, but what's next for you? Um, what's next? We actually, I'm working with Say Cheese with Sean. We got a new podcast coming. I do, I'm doing like all the production behind that with him. Um, I feel like that's going to be huge. It's going to be another thing of his own, separate from Say Cheese. Um, I'm still doing my videos. I'm still working, um, with artists like J-Main, Pink Pressure. Um, I kind of, am just all over the place. Like I do everything. Um, a lot of people don't even know, like, I'm not just a camera person with Sean. Like, I help him throw events. I, you know, I kind of do a lot more than just camera work for people. Mm -hmm. So, I do a lot. Right. You never know what's coming with me. No, for sure. So, people can, like, book these services with you as well? Mm. Or not really? You said you're exclusive, right? I know, yeah. yeah. So, it's not, I'm not really taking on any more new clients right now. I'm so busy, especially with Say Cheese. Gotcha. You said he got a podcast coming up? Yeah, and that's like that's a whole nother job of its own. I didn't Sean was like, You'll be the production. And I was like, Cool. Like right. he was like, figure out everything we need and let's get it. And so all week we've been getting new camcorders, new mics, 
new switches and I didn't know how to use all that, but I do now. No, for sure. So. Whose idea was it to like get on Spotify and start a podcast and stuff? Uh, that was definitely Sean's been thinking about that for for a while now. Right. So he's just now like really going in on it. I think it's going to go crazy. Sure. The topics, like talking about behind the scenes, just things that he couldn't talk about on interviews because you have to tiptoe around your person. Not not necessarily tiptoe, but you're on a certain time, so you can't mm-hmm. necessarily go in the way that you want. Yeah, you can't go into in depth, right? But yeah, so he's going to go in. Nah, I'm it. excited for it. It's going to be dope. I feel it. Well, is there anything else you want to tell the people? What can they expect from you? You know what I'm saying? No, How much just, you charge the videos? You still exclusive? Uh, I'm still exclusive. But you can reach out to me. You can follow me, the girl V. Uh, we got a lot coming. I have some more music videos on the way. I'm linking with some cool artists. Um, Sean has a new podcast on the way. Look out for that. But I'm going to just keep being me. For sure. That's it.